Welcome to Policy and Prejudice. My name is Chris Stevenson. Can you spot potential? When you walk into a classroom of fourth graders, what do you see? Do you see doctors, lawyers, engineers, scientists, police officer, military officer, labor union member, or do you see drug addict, drug dealer, gang member, inmate? What we're going to do today, we're going to talk about the war. The war for the mind of your kid. The, the war for control of your son. Parents today have their hands full, especially single mothers, especially single black mothers. What's going on today is that uh, you have a lot of distractions within the war. Say, for example, uh, information misinformation. A lot of uh, single black mothers have g gone away from traditional child rearing because there's not a father there. Back in the day, they used to do that. Back in the day, they, they would successfully raise their kids even though they were raising them alone. Today, the uh, pop media culture is telling them not to do this. Watch TV shows, watch BET, watch MTV, watch uh, all these uh, reality shows, confrontational talk shows. These shows are there and put there strategically to make your son act stupid. In so doing, your son will be less equipped to question government and corporate America when he grows up. He'll be too busy dealing with the legal system, putting money in the legal system's pocket, uh, feeding uh, prison guards, as well as... Uh, lawyers and judges, not to mention police officers. The solution to this, remember one thing. What was stupid back in 1970 is still stupid today back in 2009. What was stupid in 1970 is still stupid in 2009. Mothers, teach your kids. Raise them. Don't let them think that uh, you're being uh, old-fashioned by lecturing them. Lecture them all day long. Another, another tactic, uh, information misinformation. Stop getting mad when your son's teacher is uh, reporting uh, his misbehavior to you. Stop getting mad when the coach is about to kick them off the team. Stop getting mad, stop getting mad at the coach. Stop getting mad at the teacher. Get mad at your son the way it was back in the old days. When this happens, you have much more success in raising kids. Don't let pop culture raise kids. Don't let hardcore rap artists raise kids. Raise them yourself. They're yours. They're your responsibility. This is not to let the father off the hook either. Dad, you can't afford to not have time to raise your boy. Sons are, made, are put there by God to be leaders. That's what they're going to have to do. Thank you for listening. This is Chris Stevenson with another segment of Policy and Prejudice. See you next week.